Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is G and welcome to Keeping Up With G. Today we'll be learning how to bake red velvet cake. Red velvet cake is one, one amazing cake. One of my favorite cake is a dessert cake and I love red velvet cake. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you my red velvet recipe. It will be on my description and I'm also going to show you the procedure. Now we have two types or two ways of baking a red velvet cake. We have the oil based recipe and we have the butter based recipe okay so this is for the this video is the butter based recipe and probably another video i'll do oil based recipe but for today we're going to be learning how to make red velvet cake with butter based recipe i feel like telling you my favorite this is actually my favorite <laughs> the butter based recipe is actually my favorite okay so we'll get down to business to make your um red velvet cake you need your butter you need your sugar you need your you need your butter milk in one of my videos i showed you how to make a um, butter milk so check it out i put the link somewhere so for this recipe i'm going to be using 400 gram of 500 gram of butter i'm going to be using 500 gram of butter okay i'm just measuring that my butter So this is my butter measured out. I'm just going to put it inside here. 500 gram butter. Then for the sugar, I'm going to use 250 gram of sugar, 250 gram of sugar. You can use 300 gram of sugar if you like a lot of sugar. But 250 is just fine also. Now, I'm going to cream my butter and my sugar together with my mixer. Alright guys, look at it. So you cream it, it gets really light and fluffy. It's not, the butter color won't be yellow anymore. It's a bit more like pale yellow, something like that. Almost white. So you cream it to that extent. So I don't cream in our butter and sugar. For this recipe, we are going to need 8 eggs for this quantity of butter. We are going to be needing 8 eggs. So I am going to break in my egg in and also cream my egg. I am going to break it in here. For breaking in your egg in, you get another plate. You break into that plate first before turning it into here, into your, this plate you are creaming in. You do it like that. To avoid eggs that are bad entering into putting it into your pan. Okay, so this is my egg, this is egg in here. So I'm going to cream the egg also our egg and we're done creaming it now back to our butter and sugar mixture that's our butter cream see how light and fluffy it is okay so now we're going to put in our golden syrup into our this is my golden syrup i'm just going to put like one spoon of golden syrup into our butter and sugar mixture this golden syrup can be so hard to open eh? ah, it can be so hard to open I have added two spoon of golden syrup into our mixture and then we are going to add flavor this is actually vanilla flavor just make you can put two teaspoons this is um industrial vanilla flavor so it's really concentrated so i'm just going to put a little quantity of it okay so this is it 
Now I'm going to stir this now. So in here now we just have our we just have our golden syrup and our flavor. That's all we have in here. So I'll stay it. So this is our floor. Our floor is already saved. I'm going to put two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'll sieve it inside the floor. Why I sieve it is because sometimes this cocoa powder can be lumpy. And if you don't sieve it and you bake with it like that, probably you buy the part that is lumpy. The cocoa powder is just a bitter kind of. I don't have to explain it. <laughs> but it's be bitter. So it's just good to sieve your cocoa powder. And also sieve your floor in case there's dirt in your floor whatsoever just save it and it's a dessert cake also so aside whether aside dirt or whatsoever it's just good to save okay so i'm just going to save this in now then in my floor i will also add my baking powder I also add my baking powder to my floor so I added my baking powder and my baking soda to my floor and now I'm just going to put my egg inside my butter and sugar mixture so stirring in my egg So now my floor, I'm going to put in my floor gradually. I'm going to alternate my floor and my buttermilk. For buttermilk, I already showed you how to produce buttermilk. See my buttermilk here. I already showed you how to produce buttermilk. So I'll put the link in one of these places. So you just click on it and check how to produce buttermilk. You don't have to go and buy. Okay. So now I'm just staring. Just staring now. Then I also like to put red velvet syrup in my red velvet cake. Though I'm out of syrup, so I'm just going to use vanilla syrup. This is my vanilla syrup. I just add a little quantity of vanilla syrup, like um two tablespoons of vanilla syrup. What is happening is the pan I'm using, the um, bowl I'm using is very small, so I'm trying to stay in a way that it does not pour out. My butter doesn't pour out because it's very small. Okay, so this is my buttermilk. I'm going to add my buttermilk. It's coming out. I like this butter because the butter used to rise very well. Can you believe this 500 gram and see how full it is? So it's risen very well. Okay, now so I'm going to have our syrup. Like I said, I'm out of red velvet syrup, so I'm using vanilla syrup. I'm just going to use little vanilla and red velvet. Sometimes they just work hand in hand. So I just added a little quantity of my vanilla syrup. But when you go to the market and you want to do it for red velvet cake, actually buy a red velvet syrup. <laughs> okay. Then after that, you are going to red velvet, so you have to add your red velvet powder. This is red velvet powder. For this one, there's actually no measurement for this one. You just keep on putting it till you feel like, okay, this is the color I want my cake to be red to and the rest but so everybody know what they want so just going to put this one first then stay just put gradually put the first one stay so i'm not going to give you like a measurement for this red velvet powder 
just put a little stir to get to the color you want and then you stop stop stirring you stop adding to it so see this one now that i've had it now it looks like strawberry color so it's not very radiant okay so i'm still going to add i'm still going to add because this is not the kind of color i'm looking for I'm out on a lot of things, so I need to go to the market and buy this is the last quantity. <laughs> this is the last red, red, red powder I'm using. I hope it comes out very red because I'm out of red, red, red powder. <laughs> The red velvet powder literally doesn't really do so much to the cake. Like it's just the, for coloring. It doesn't make the cake any sweeter or any you know bitter or whatever. We are just adding it for the coloring because it's red velvet, so it has to be red. You can't be having a brown cake when it's red velvet. Okay. So I'm officially out of red 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 powder. Everything is inside. I'll just manage it like this. I'm still going to buy. But if I make my red 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 powder darker, because this one's giving me a strawberry kind of color. So I like my red 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 cake usually darker than this. Okay, so this is it. Then another thing to put is your mixed fruit. My mixed fruit, I soaked it in squadron for like two nights now. It has been soaked in squadron. This one is optional. It's not compulsory that you must pull fruit in your red velvet cake. In fact, some people don't even like it. So this is just me doing what I like to do. Okay. So I just put just a little quantity of it. I just like this mixed fruit in my cake. So you must not actually add to yours. So this is it for our red velvet recipe, our red velvet cake. So I'm going to go on to put on my oven to preheat my oven, then um, my pan, grease my pan, then turn this into the pan. I don't fill one pan. I don't bake it with just one pan. I bake with at least two to three pans. So I just put some quantity in one pan and put the other in another pan. Why I do like that? Why I don't put a bake all in one pan is because First of all, it helps the cake to, you know, get cooked faster. Then secondly, when you bake do everything in one pan, the cake becomes dense, kind of like strong. I don't want it to be dense. I want it to be all fluffy and soft. So that's why I bake in different pans. So after doing this, I level the cake. Just going to level it now. This has to level the cake. Just level it and then put it in your oven. After preheating your oven. Okay, so we're going to let this bake for 45 minutes. For five minutes, although I'll start shaking it from like 30 to 40 minutes, then I'll just start shaking it to so check if your cake is ready, if it's cooked, you put in a dual, anything, fork, knife, whatever, just dip it to the middle. If it comes out clean, that means your cake is ready, it's baked. If it doesn't come out clean, that means your cake is not ready. So just keep watching this video, I'll show you how to do that and then we're going to cakes are ready. I'm just going to bring it out of the pan. They are just <laughs> I just put that of the oven, it's still very hot. So nice. You need to come and perceive my kitchen. Kitchen is sensing so good. Though the red velvet is not very red because my 
um, when the red powder wasn't, I had a little quantity left. See the one I'm bringing on my cake? So simple like that. Be careful with your red velvet cake. It's, it's very simple and cake. cake. This is our red velvet cake. Like I said, it's not so red because it just came in. I added a little red 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 powder but this is it it's nice you should totally try this recipe and then i did the little cupcake yeah, I'll try it mm. it's so nice guys you should totally try this this is nice Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. I'm sure you're not talking. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and I love you. See you later.